Real quick, before this video gets started, I want to give a special thanks to Harris Heller for providing music for the video. I grew up fat, and it wasn't until I was 17 years old when I got fat shamed at the beach that I promised myself I would quote unquote turn into an unrecognizable monster. I became obsessed at that point. I realized how important dieting was. I was in Vegas and I was like, you know, I deserve a cheat meal. And I started to really lose the weight then. I wasn't really happy with how my body was until I started to lift weight. I literally had no idea what I was doing. I had no rest days. I would go into the gym for two hours a day and work out the same muscles seven days a week. It was terrible. I hurt myself so bad at the gym, I couldn't walk for four days. I was around a month into deadlifting. Right before my English class started in my senior year of high school, I was trying to deadlift 225. And now I'm proud to say that's my warm up. Anyways, I had really bad posture. My back was hunched over. I tore out a huge muscle in my back and I couldn't walk. I still went to school for whatever reason. I even went to work and I actually got sent home. Although I have learned better, at least I hope so. That's why I work out with progressive overload. For instance, if my first set of exercises is between 50 and 20 repetitions. So if I'm doing hammer curls, I will start off by doing 15, 20, 25, 30. My first set would be 15 to 20 repetitions. Second set would be 12 to 15 repetitions. Third set would be 10 to 12 repetitions. My fourth and final set will be six to eight repetitions. The way I learned, I just kept on watching videos. One of the guys' videos that I kept on watching was Noah Dazel Bodybuilder. Every single person in the gym knows exactly what it's like to start. When I started listening to his advice, I really learned that it doesn't matter how heavy the weight is, it matters how you lift the weight. Most of the time, you'll stimulate your muscles better and grow more focusing on your technique. Add weight gradually as you master your form. For instance, you could be lifting an 80 pound barbell, but if your elbows are all shaky, and he's tilting his body, it's gonna be way less efficient than using a 40 pound barbell with your elbows tucked in your rib cage. Another really important part about lifting weight, the only part of your body that you want moving is really your forearm. Unless you're doing tricep dumbbell kickbacks, but even then, it's mostly your forearm. How did I start going to the gym? Force myself to go every day. I made it a habit. Like wake up, make bed, go to gym. I would usually wake up at like seven or eight and get to the gym at 9.30. How to start a routine. The most effective routine will be one you make for yourself over time and find out what you yourself need to work on. I'm telling you this as someone who never thought they would be fit. I have lost 51 pounds. I always would look at fitness influencers and think, oh, I, that will never be. Which was a really shitty mindset to have. Yes, you can lose 50 pounds in three months by just not eating, but that's super unhealthy. There's effective ways to lose weight and there's fast ways. I cannot repeat that enough. Do not starve yourself. I eat four to five meals a day. If you eat five salads a day, way healthier than eating one meal a day and it's like a McDonald's. And now here I am around seven months into lifting weights and I love I don't know why I was intimidated. I didn't start deadlifting until I was like three months into lifting weight. Deadlifting is like one of the most dangerous and most beneficial exercises you can do. And I know that sounds intimidating. As long as you have proper form, as I will show right now. Approach the bar so that your shins are one inch away from the barbell, putting it directly over the middle of your foot. Step two, without bending your shins to the barbell, grab the barbell just on the outside of your shins. Do not move the barbell. Step three. Push your knees forward until your shins meet the barbell, dropping your hips down into position. Step four, push your chest through and pull your shoulders down towards your hips. Step five, push your knees out into your forearms and drag the barbell directly up your legs, keeping it in contact all the way until you're standing straight up and down. I've listed all these reasons why working out has been great for me, but why should you work out? Obviously, it's not the best feeling to wake up at 4 a.m. to go run for ROTC, but that's really what it comes down to. Personally, the more I work out, the more organized my life becomes. The more I want to wake up early in the morning and get things done. The benefits. If you really want to improve and become a better person, there is no excuse not to go and exercise. Even if you just start out going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one hour a day, and then when you get used to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then you can add Tuesday, and then you can add Thursday, and then you can add Saturday. Or you can be like me, and you just worked out Monday through Friday. And then when you get you so that you do an hour and a half a day you do two hours you just find what works for you if working out for 45 minutes a day six days a week works out for you that's great not everyone has my schedule i still to this day change my workout routine but the most important thing is that you keep on going to the gym it doesn't matter when you work out if you want to be sleepy all day if you want to work out in the morning all that matters is that you just keep on going to the gym with that being said there are different ways to work out crossfit oh, no! bodybuilding and cardio. Your body responds to the stimulus you provide. If you are consistent with dieting, you will see massive muscle growth. At a point, your body will plateau. This is totally normal. If you stick with your routine, your muscles will grow. Not as much as they did in the beginning, but they will still grow and you will develop tiger stripes. So it's a good thing. Don't be ashamed of them. Those little stripes come from accelerated muscle gain or weight loss. You dug deep 
two MO stripes. And if anything, you should be proud to have them. I actually have some right here because of my weight loss journey and I couldn't be more proud of them. I don't know if you can really see them. What is body dysmorphia? The more you work out, the worse your body will appear to yourself in the mirror. I am literally an example of this because I constantly have to remind myself that I lost weight. If you are new to working out, I would definitely recommend starting off slow. I understand that walking into a gym for the first time can be overwhelming. Believe it or not, you don't have to go into the gym and murder your body to get a good workout. You should train and the next day you should wake up feeling good. There's something called rate of perceived exertion. Let's say I make you do pull-ups and let's say the maximum amount of pull-ups you can do, the maximum amount of pull-ups is 10. Let's keep a nice round number. At 11, you couldn't do 11. If I put a point at a gun at you, you couldn't do 11. Should I make you do 10 pull-ups on our workout? No, I'm gonna make you do five. Why? Because I'm setting you up to work the next day. The next day we're gonna do five. And the next day we're gonna do another five. And then we're gonna do six. When six is really easy, we're gonna do seven. Why? If you count, if, the, if you did 10 pull-ups on Monday, you're going to be sore till Thursday. Let's say it's really your max. So on Thursday, you've only done 10 pull-ups. From Monday to Thursday, you've only done 10 pull-ups. Me, I've been doing five pull-ups every day. So I'm at 20 pull-ups already, 25 pull-ups. Hmm. I have more volume than you. Ah. Now, if you add up at the end of the year, who trained more? I've trained way more than you. And because those muscles are getting trained more, they're going to develop faster. The issue is trying to find out what to work out. Now, depending on a gym you go to, some machines will actually have QR codes so you can scan it and figure out how to use the machine effectively. Don't get me wrong. There are tons of machines that I don't use. Honestly, the entire idea of a workout machine, in my opinion, is kind of iffy because if you want to lose your stomach, definitely doing core workouts every day help. At the end of the day, if you don't lose the fat in your stomach, then nothing's going to show. So for my routine, I kind of have it to where I work top to bottom on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I work out for three hours on my upper body. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I work out for three hours on my legs. It wouldn't be a proper video without tons of content that I had to edit out of the video. So here you go. If you really want to learn a subject, start teaching it. The best advice I ever heard was from a YouTuber called Crank Plays. If you want to do something, just shut up and do it. And that is how I'm going to end the video. I know I'm not exactly at the 10 minute mark, and I'm sorry for that, but that's the end of the video. <laughs> Anyways, I really enjoyed this assignment. I actually forgot how much I loved video editing. I haven't edited a video in like two years. It's literally like midnight right now. I've literally spent the past five hours editing this video. I guess I just want to say thanks for um, giving me this assignment because I really enjoyed it. And that's the end of it. Peace.